Hello everybody, today I am back with a mob tutorial and today I'm going to be covering the horse and uh, the horse has quite a few features to it and uh, it is not that new of a mob and it is, it is, it's been in Minecraft for a while now but uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of a useful mob though there are arguably mobs that are more useful. One of the interesting things about horses, and you'll notice this with actually donkeys and mules too, which I'll cover in a future episode, but with horses, they have a variable amount of health. Now you can see this one has around 12 or so hearts, if I'm counting, yes, 12 hearts. And as you can see, the heart particles. So, so, and if we ride this one, this one has about seven, uh, sorry, eight hearts. Um, and they can have a variable amount of hearts. It's not set in stone how many hearts they will have. So, based on that, you need to make a decision like, oh, how many hearts do, how much health do I want my horse to have? So, what does a horse do? So, how do you tame one? So, I already demonstrated taming this one, but if you didn't catch it, I'll demonstrate with this one too. So with this one, you can see it's going to ride around, I'm going to ride on it for a while, and then you can see the smoke particles come up, sort of like when you fail to tame an animal, maybe using seeds, like I covered in the wolf tutorial. And um, if it doesn't work, you can try riding on it again. And it's also important to note, you shouldn't be holding anything in your hand while taming. If you hold something, it can interfere with the taming process, especially an item like a sword. Or a saddle. If I was holding a saddle, it would just instantly take me off. But once I tame it, you'll see the hearts come up on the side, and you can see it doesn't knock me off. What I can do now is I can actually open up a little interface here, and you can see it says horse there, and the health doesn't change for the horse. This does happen with the wolf. When you tame a wolf into a dog, it does go from, uh, if I remember correctly, eight uh, hearts. No, sorry, um, four hearts to ten hearts, so quite a big difference. And you can put a saddle on it. Now, when you move, you'll see the horse move. And if I demonstrate a little, you can actually, you can see it's a bit faster than your uh, average walking speed. And this horse in particular is pretty fast. Uh, so, um... And they can have uh, variable amounts of speed as well, which is an important thing to note, especially when we cover the mule, I'll explain how to get those. And these will typically spawn in plains biomes, uh, so that's one thing to note. Uh, if you are in another biome, they probably won't be spawning. So, and they'll eat grass like that to heal themselves up. If you want to breed them, you can... Well, actually, heal them, you can use hay bales. Oh, sorry, I mean, like, uh, grow them up. So if the, if you have a baby horse, then you can grow them up using uh, that. Sorry, I mixed up the item. But if you want to breed them, I believe you can use golden apples. And you can see they come towards me and actually attract horses. And you can see I can breed them right now. And it'll create a baby horse. And this you can feed. I need to keep feed it a bit more. And you can see it is now a fully grown horse. And you can see I need to retame it, but I'm not going to tame that right now. I'm going to go back to this one because there are a few things you can do. So I'm going to I'm going to show you guys something called horse armor, and there's a few different types. Horses have health, and horses, you can use them in combat, you can use them to get around faster, but giving them armor will undoubtedly increase their protection, sort of like how armor increases protection for you, for example. One thing to note, horse armor does not have durability, so you don't need to worry about repairing it or anything, but uh, finding it is one ordeal. Uh, and obviously the better the armor, the better it protects the horse. So they roughly do it in this order. So leather protects it the best. Uh, sorry, the worst, the worst. And then gold protects it second worst. Iron, second best. Diamond, the best. Uh, as you can kind of guess with normal armor. And by putting, if you want to put armor on, you can put it on there. So we got iron there. 
you can put on some diamond there, uh, gold, some leather, so all of that. And uh, another cool little feature, like you can dye leather armor, you can also dye leather horse armor, so maybe you uh, want to put leather or horse armor on it, but you don't like the color of leather. Um, you can actually change the color with a cauldron and dye, and you can do that. So, it's important to note also, uh, one thing, horse armor is kind of difficult to get. I said I was going to explain this and I didn't. Horse armor is only obtainable in dungeons, except for leather. Leather you can actually craft. You actually have to craft it on your own. It's not too hard. I think it's just leather and string, if I remember. Let me clear the weather. Okay. So, yeah, that's pretty much it with the horse. Uh, well, actually, that's not all. Uh, another thing you can do is if you take a donkey, which is kind of similar, and I'm and I'm gonna tell you guys what the donkey does, uh, in another video. But donkeys are pretty similar. And once I tame this, I'm gonna tame it really quick. Okay, first try. That's pretty good. Now you can see they're both coming towards me. Now what we're gonna do? We're gonna breed a a uh, donkey with a horse. I'm going to show you guys what a horse can do in this context. So if you guys don't know, a donkey can actually... A donkey can actually uh, uh, carry items. And let me demonstrate what that means. Let me take out a saddle. And a chest. I'm going to ride... Ooh, spawned another one. So we have this here. So you can ride the donkey... It's not terribly fast, the donkey. Uh, it's always at the same speed, any donkey that you'll find. But, you can see, there's an attach chest option. And you can do this to donkeys. And so, now you can see it has a chest on it. So, if I ride it, now it has a little chest interface. I can put random stuff in, maybe I have a bunch of horse armor, and I can put that in. And I can come out. So, it's having like a little extra inventory, kind of like a backpack you can do with a shulker box, uh, but instead you have, can have a donkey. Notice how the horse cannot have this option. And so the mule that we bred, which is over here, if I take some hay bales and grow it up a little, and it has grown up, and do you like hay bales? And so what this mule will do, so Let's just wait for, let's breed, let's uh, tame it really quick. It takes some time. Taming is the same process for all of them. If I maybe hold some food out. Can't take some time to tame. It's important to note that mules do not spawn naturally as well. So let me take out another saddle. So. Uh, a mule can be bred between them, and so a mule will have the same speed as the parent horse. It will also, uh, it will take the features from the donkey, as in its, uh, s like, strength, meaning that how much it can hold. And it turns out I actually got pretty lucky. Uh, 15 is the highest amount that it can hold, but... Um, it can be as low as, I believe, three or six, something like that. So, basically, what I just said is, you can breed a horse over here, and with a donkey, and it'll create a mule, which is what I'm riding on right now. And the mule has, uh, shared abilities from the horse and the donkey. Mules cannot spawn naturally, you have to breed a horse with a donkey, with a golden apple, and I believe a golden carrot also works as well, which is a cheaper option. Um, so yeah, you can do that, and a mule is kind of like, it takes the speed features from the horse, so the horse is faster than a donkey almost all the time. Remember, its speed is variable, so it's not, like, it's, how much faster is a difference? And so, keep in mind, and so it'll take the speed from this horse, and it'll take the chest-holding ability from the donkey, and you'll get a certain amount of load that it can carry. Our mule in particular 
is quite strong, that means it's holding the max amount of items. So it can hold up to 15 items, which is the maximum that a mule can hold. But uh, this is not the case for maybe if I were to breed them again, I might get a slightly weaker mule. So anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching these videos. Um, I know they can be a bit boring and bland sometimes, and I know a lot of you already know the information. Uh, but thank you guys so much for your continued support on this channel. Um, yes, thank you guys so much for watching once again. And I will end this video right now. Thank you guys so much for watching.